Oh, hello, hello, come, come in, come in, please, please, have a, take a seat, oh, oh, a customer, so nice to see you, dear, please, please, sit down, sit down, I hope you brought your appetite, because I brought the meat, meat pie, exactly, now you might have heard a few rumours that these are the worst pies in London, but that was true, was true, but not anymore, no, we've made a few changes to our ingredients, and now they are the best meat pie you could find in the city, I guarantee it, fresh ingredients, the secret is in the herbs, Oh, would you like to try one? I'm making one right now. I can make it fresh for you. But, oh, first off, uh, some ale. Would you like something to drink, dear? Oh, let's, let me get you something. I'm sure you've been out walking the city for who knows how long. You look like a traveler with your clothes and your boots that are covered in I'm gonna say mud. I'm gonna say mud and not, you know. <laughs> Excellent. That is on the streets occasionally, but I'm sure that's not what you have on your boots. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, welcome to Mrs. Lovett's pie shop. I'm Mrs. Lovett. Wonderful to meet you, dear. Where are you from? Oh, that sounds like a place I've never been. But maybe I will go there someday. Oh, oh I was getting you something to drink. Uh, ale. Ale. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a mess here. Um, let me... thirsty after your long travels. Oh, um, no. There are several places to uh, get pies in London, but I'm glad that you picked this particular place. You know, the lady next door. And this is only a rumor. I don't gossip. I never gossip, but I heard a little birdie that she uses pussy cats in her pies. I know. How could anyone dare use such adorable and extremely fast-moving agile creatures in their pies? I mean, they're just too quick and hairy, and I'm sure it'd take forever to remove all that hair. But. I don't remember where I was going with this. <laughs> Pies. I was making a pie. I was making you a meat pie. It's so nice having a customer in the shop. It wasn't that long ago that I wouldn't have a single customer all week. An entire week would go by. No one. The shop would be empty. Things were a little difficult after uh, Mr. Lovett passed on, and I, I had an empty room upstairs that I was trying to rent out, but everyone thought it was haunted. It just because some little lady had some terrible bad luck with the judge, but 
Then it was her husband that had the worst of it. Poor thing. Her husband was so handsome. Oh, but now things have changed around here a little bit. Now we have um, some fresh ingredients, yes. And the room upstairs, you may have noticed, is rented now by a very handsome gentleman named Todd. Mr. Todd, maybe you've heard of him. He's a barber. He's fantastic at doing hair. So if you need a shave, I highly recommend you give him a visit upstairs. Oh, I love watching him work. It's so nice having company. I'm a little bit lonely here. Sorry, dear, so cockroach. Oh, where they come from? They're everywhere. likes to stick to itself. I wish everything was as easy as the meat, but everyone knows that part of the pie is the crust. And we need a good crust if you want a good pie, don't you? Oh, sorry, got a bit of flour on you here. Just it. Clean some of that off. Want to get anything on your your nice outfit? Got to take care of my customer, don't I? <laughs> I can hear Mr. Todd upstairs right now. I think I saw someone go up there earlier. I think it was a little priest. Oh, I can't wait for, for the priest to be done with his shave, I mean. Did I get anything else on you, dear? So sorry about that. But I did mess up your hair a bit. Let's see if I can fix that too. If you have any problems with hair, I highly recommend visiting the man upstairs. <laughs> now he and I have some plans to go visit the ocean, you know, go by the sea, and get a little cottage, and maybe invite people over and do things with other people. Oh, so much. <laughs> but first, uh, pies, of course. So, yes, always have time for pies. Everyone loves a good pie. <laughs> There's that old woman again. Supposed to be in here. Let's tell me until we get out of here. She's not supposed to be in here. Get out. Mm. 
So, you uh, you travel? Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> How about you? Do you have a uh, special person in your life? Someone that just makes your heart water? I have someone like that now. Uh, no, no, I'm um, not uh, Mr. Lovett. He's he's gone. He's gone. Someone uh, new-ish. Someone. Oh, someone very special. too late. You can find love no matter how old you are, where you are, even if you are in a hole of a city like London. There's hope for everyone. And I think there's hope for someone like you. I mean, you have such a, a full body and so uh, neaty. In a good way, of course. I'm not implying that you're unhealthy. In fact, you look extremely healthy. Oh, you look like such a snack. I bet someone would just love to eat you right up. very, very good furnace. It's over in that row and a little bit down below us. I always keep it hot. Very, very hot. Hot enough to incinerate things. <laughs> but I also just want to keep it warm in the shop. It's cold out there and I want my customers to be cozy. You know, it's nice when things are cozy, you know, it gets a little little cold outside. Maybe you and your special someone can cozy up together next to the fire. You know, Mr. Todd smells really wonderful too. He takes such good care of himself. He had himself all shaved so smooth and Oh, and his hair, the way his shirt slightly unbuttoned, and <laughs> oh, what do I smell like? I, I must smell very, very good. I'm always buying meat. I always smell a little. Uh, well, the whole shop smells a little unusual. I'm told. Which, it's a normal smell for a pie shop. I assure you, there's nothing unusual. Nor is it unusual to have a lot of smoke coming out of the chimney. That's just how things work around here. It's an old chimney. I should have it cleaned. But, you know, some things get forgotten. <laughs> I don't smell, do I? I smell nice, okay? Do I? What do you think? Do I smell okay? Not that you smell. 
bad, it's just we can all smell a little bit better. There we go. Now we smell like flowers and meat. That didn't really uh, cover the smell, it just sort of mixed together in some amalgamation of uh, odors. Not the most pleasant of smells, but a lady has to try. Keep trying. <laughs> I told you that this meat was fresh, which is difficult to get in London nowadays. But I can prove it. Just look at it. Just look how fresh this meat is. Do you see any maggots? Any flies? No, you don't. Smell it. Come on, you can smell it. Just get it right up there. You're not going to find meat like this anywhere else. Fresh meat, locally sourced. Now there are, I'm sure there aren't many um, branches in the city, but I know a very special someone who can get good meat. It's a secret. I can't let anyone else know, otherwise the neighbors will try to steal my... Oh, sorry, there's a hair in your meat. I'm sure that's one of my hairs, not someone else's. <laughs> now, I always am sure to remove foreign material from the meat. It's all meat. No, no teeth, no bones, no fingernails, and who, whoms. I mean, this is all this is beef, beef. Yes, from from bovines. <laughs> Excuse me, it was a, a slip of the tongue. Maybe I've been having some of the ale earlier. <laughs> but how much meat do you want in your pie? Because hmm? I have more. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how this hair keeps getting in the meat. <laughs> but uh, tell me more about uh, about yourself, my friend. Where where do you um? Uh, have you been around the city? Have you uh, visited any other shops? Have you been staying out of trouble? The judge in this city can be a little, uh, a bit cruel. He's rather unfair, especially if he thinks you're a pretty lady. 
even bother the woman who is already married. <laughs> Some ladies have all the luck. But my luck has changed. As I said, now I have fresh meat. And I have a new tenant. A handsome new tenant upstairs. And a customer. One of my first customers. It's been such a long time since I've been able to really smell fresh meat. Are you impressed? Yes, all the meat in the shop is made here. Did I say meat? I meant the pies. The meat pies are made here in the shop. The meat is not slaughtered here. No, it's... Um, but it is fresh. Very, very fresh. I guarantee you won't find meat this fresh anywhere else. Possibly in the world. Mr. Todd is a, a master when it comes to the blade to shave, I mean. But perhaps I am a master of the knife when it comes to carving meat. Yes, oh, how I love to carve. Always washing the hands around here, make sure everything's nice and clean.
Can you smell the herbs? Can you guess any of them? Oh, this meat is very, very special. Again, locally sourced. a little too much. <clears throat> that is a bit dry. Mind if I have a sip of your oil? Thank, thank you, thank you. I forgot that I um, watered down the ale. It's not very uh, tasty, is it? Oh, I'm just making flour everywhere. Now we'll just pop your pie in the oven for a little bit. Just put that down there. So here. Just give that a bit to cook or to bake. Cook. You bake a pie, but you cook meat. So do you cook or bake a meat pie? Doesn't matter. The important thing is that it tastes good. And it's going to taste fantastic, I guarantee it is. Hmm. But again, after you have a little uh, something to eat and you pay me, I implore you to visit Mr. Todd. He can give you the best shave or haircut. He can shave anything. Whatever part of the body that you want shaved. Even your unibrow, we can get rid of that area here. We can trim that little bit. Just, just. Is that... That might be a mole. I thought that was hair. But it's more. But it's more. Let's get it here too. Is that... Oh, that's something in your nose. Done that before touching your face. Oh, not after, but just look at what are you doing with your your hair? Yes, I can see it. Mr. Todd could do something phenomenal with that head of yours. And I could do something with the rest of you. To, uh, to feed you, of course, to give you something good to eat. Nothing's better than having a full stomach. And the next best thing is having a wonderful appearance. 
again we are judged by the way we look so we all want to look good our best <sighs> right now you smell okay you can smell a little bit better it just... you can all smell a bit better there we go it's just it's hard working in a meat shop Meat pie shop, excuse me. <laughs> yes, we make meat pies, not just meat. We have more than just meat. <laughs> We're not a uh, butcher shop. We're just a very, um, I guess it's an odd concept to have a barber shop of a pie shop. But hey, we have to do what you have to do in this world. It's very uh, dog eat dog world. Got to be tough. Are you tough? Let me feel. Maybe too tough. What about by the stomach? Uh, it's a little soft there. No good work. The legs. Just don't mind me, I'm just going to climb over the counter a little bit. You don't mind if I just uh, get a little closer. Yes, good. I'm in the back of the back area. Moving along on the side. Oh, potential there. Huh. You got a crate. A body. I mean that to say, in a complimentary way. Not weird. Not in a weird way. A compliment. A compliment. Just a um, woman who is remarkably good looking for her age complimenting another person. <laughs> Your pie. Right. That should be done. very soon and I guarantee you're gonna love it love it love it love it like my like me Mrs. love it you're going to love it the meat pie we should think of something for Mr. Todd we're going to Todd Robert Todd Todd Lord Sod You're going to be shaving time. Shave time with Mr. Todd's barbershop. Oh, I gotta think of something. Oh. What do you think? He needs a, a catchy slogan. Oh, how about Mr. Todd? He'll cut you quick. He won't feel a thing. I like that one. Cut you quick. He really does cut you quick. Just love watching him work. Some people don't even know what's happening before it's before it's done. It can be a bit messy though.
your pie should be ready. Let me grab it. It's a bit tougher than I thought it'd be. I thought I got all of the teeth out of there. Did I miss some? <laughs> there we go. Here's a slice just for you, dear. Please have a bite. Have, have a big bite. Do you love it? Oh, I knew you would. It's so nice to have a satisfied customer. Please eat it all. All of it. You could have more. I'll cut you more piece. Another piece. Don't eat your meat. Pie. <laughs> oh, good, good. Mr. Doll is going to be so happy. Oh, he was worried that I wouldn't be able to sell all of this meat. But, oh, if everyone loves it as much as you do, then I think. This batch will go quickly. We're gonna need more. I'll have to let Mr. Top know. He helps me uh, get the meat. It's because it's uh, heavy. He helps me bring it to the shop. Oh, he's so good at picking out the right type of meat. He has a real eye for that sort of thing. He's got such lovely eyes. You look at them and you just lose yourself in the world. Look at me. Oh, I'm just an old woman rambling. I'm not that old. I'm a reasonably aged woman rambling. Again, would you like another slice of pie? Please say yes. And some more, and yes, drink the ale. The very watered down ale, but still ale. There's some in there. <laughs> I knew you'd want more. Just get some more cut, cutting now. My favorite part is when I get to cut. Oh, 
savory slices. You're one hungry person. I like that. I like when someone has an appetite. <laughs> I promise by the end of the night you will have a full belly, but an empty purse. <laughs> And maybe by the end of the night you'll have a very well shaved appearance. Again, you could have anything done by Mr. Todd. He can be uh, shaved, trimmed, uh, washed. Definitely washed. A well washed person is a good person. Please, eat as much pie if you, as you want. I love watching. Just, oh, I'm so glad you're satisfied. Tell everyone you know, if you get the chance to, that is. <laughs> That's Mrs. Lovett's pie shop. And Fantastic duo, sweet heart and heart. Mrs. Todd, Mrs. Sweetie Todd. Mm. I like the sound of that. What do you think, Mrs. Sweetie Todd? Instead of Mrs. Love It, Mrs. Sweetie Todd, Mrs. Todd. Make you get married by the sea. Oh, it's so lovely there. I heard that closer to the ocean that they get to see sunlight ten times a year. 